All right, all right. Well, welcome to Friday night's online Bible school. And uh, I just felt impressed today to to share a story. I believe it'll really, really help you. A friend of mine, thank you, Lord, for your word. Your word is good. Amen. And this is uh, Deuteronomy 8.18 spelled out for today. And also... Uh, 3 John 2, I wish, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Your soul is your mind, will, and emotions, not your spirit. And so your soul has sprung. There's an organ up here. So God moves in knowledge and power, authority that you know you have. If you don't know you have it, you're going to figure it out now. For finances, you have authority for finances. But you have to do it God's way. So, my friend was second in command of bookkeeping. And uh, I was friends with him for years and years. And second in command of bookkeeping at American Airlines. Good position. He was a bookkeeper. And American Airlines, you, you might remember a few years ago, they made national news. They had to file bankruptcy. And they thought, and the world thought, and the world said because of the economy. No one else had to file bankruptcy. But since then, some of them have even lost their whole companies. But this American Airlines, a number, there was the number one American Airlines in America. And they flew all over the place. And they now they're back number one again. But they had a big... Uh, financial problem there well the owner could not figure out what the problem was they was making millions of dollars every day but they was paying tens of millions of dollars of bills they were going broke making millions of dollars so my friend which is second in command he wasn't a chief accountant but he was the second in command and uh, he was the one that, so the, the owner of American Airlines talked to my, uh, the guy in command, which was the chief accountant, over all the other accountants and told my friend, find out if there's a discrepancy in the books. So he went and told all of the accountants that was working for American Airlines, he said, see if you can find the discrepancy in the books. And... They could not. They looked and looked and looked, and they could not. And so the chief accountant said, man, there's got to be something in there. So he looked, and he could not find any discrepancy in the book. Nothing has changed. We're making more money than we ever did in our lives, but we are losing more than we ever did in our lives. What in the world is going on? So my friend said, well, find out when... We started losing money. It was three months before they filed bankruptcy. He said, well, it's got to be right in there somewhere. So he started going backwards. He went all the way back to 90 days from when they filed bankruptcy. And he found the discrepancy. And he was told by the head honcho, the owner, whoever finds it, tell me immediately so he didn't tell his boss he wasn't the chief accountant yet he he didn't tell his boss because he was told to call to tell the owner of the company so he got a called his secretary told him that he found it the secretary got a hold of the person on the american airlines and then the american airlines guy said we're coming to my office and uh, so he went in there and uh really didn't have an office. It was just like a big sitting room, you know, because so, he was always out working and doing stuff. So he went in there, the, my friend did, and said, I found the discrepancy. He said, what was it? He said, it's right here at the very top of the page. On the top of this page, 90 days, now this had been going on for like over a year, but they didn't file bankruptcy for three months. Uh, at the very beginning of that year. So they was in bankruptcy court and bankruptcy filings and every time trying to figure out what was going on. He said, right here it is. 
three months before you filed bankruptcy, you quit paying tithes. He said, that's impossible, young man. You've made a mistake. He said, no, sir, it's right here. You can see it yourself. He said, no, I told my chief accountant to pay tithes first. He said, well, I can't talk for him, but uh, right here, and here's the, the check stubs and, and the, the copies of the checks and everything. And it stopped right there three months before you started paying tithes. Because uh, here, here it says that you used to pay tithes and you was making all kinds of money. Now you're making the same amount of money, but you have more money going out than you have coming in. He said, young man, you've been promoted to chief accountant. He said, your first job is to go in there and fire your boss. If he has a problem with it, just tell him that I hired you as chief accountant. He can get his stuff and get out. He said, a matter of fact, fire all those accountants. Because they should have found that immediately. Because I told the chief accountant to always give tithes. So he went in there, fi fired the chief accountant. The chief accountant's like, where'd you, what was it, what was it? And he said, tithe checks, tithe, quit paying tithe. He said, well, in my mind, I was thinking, man, we're running in the, we're going to have a hard time this week, this month. He said, I said, I'll pay tithes next month, next week. I'll double up on it. And he said, but fear got in there and we started losing. And it, it never even entered my mind to start paying tithes again. That was the only thing they changed. That's the way the devil works. So they disconnected from the blessing and they went bankrupt. But, but the, the, the owner said, start right now. And so the first, the first check, the first payments, the first tithe right off of the top, whatever was in the account, wasn't much in there. They filed bankruptcy. Start giving. Whatever came in, give, 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 give. And they got back on top. Didn't happen overnight, but it did happen. And now they're number one again in American Airlines. And, uh, you know, American Airlines is still the only airlines that serves food. It has big first class chairs and all that kind of stuff. Well, it all started from paying tithes. And it all about lost everything when they stopped paying tithes. And uh, so, the, uh, so he got a whole new team. He became... He moved his stuff out of his small office into the big office. He became chief accountant for American Airlines. And uh, see, it, Deuteronomy 8.18 says, God's given you the power of wealth, but don't forget. See, it says, don't forget. See, what do you not forget? Don't forget the covenant that you and him have. See, don't forget. He's the one that gives you the power of wealth. And if you disconnect from him, it's your fault. You can pray all you want to. You can fast all you want to. But until you start paying your tithe again, it's just not going to work. So I thought that was a really good testimony. And American Airlines is back number one again. Oh, there's a lot of them try to catch them. And uh, there's a lot of them that's had blew up planes, not American Airlines, but other airlines. Blew up planes and all kind of things happened. Planes couldn't take off. They found stuff that was wrong with them and everything else. So if those other airlines catch wind to start paying tithes, they probably they'll be up there with the rest of them too. So uh, I just want to I just want to uh, give you a tidbit there that's been rolling around in me since last night. And uh, just be blessed today. That's a that's a good shot right there to say yeah that's right. I shared that with a friend today. He was going through a thing with his business and I just shared those three things with him God first you know and then pay your bills and then you'll have some left over save some pay some pay your bills and save some and he said man I I didn't have enough to pay bills he said I don't I don't even have enough to save nothing I was on the he was he he lifted up and hit his he had his a uh, bank saying over the phone how much was in his accounts one was eight dollars he was negative 125 on one account another one was five dollars and another one was a dollar and something so after i heard that i was going there to share what i just shared with you on here 
But, you know, timing is everything. I just sit there. I didn't say anything about it until he had me listen to that account information. And then I said, well, my friend, the American uh, chief accountant of American Airlines, said this will work for anybody. Then I just shared those three things with him. And he said, brother, that's got to be what it is. That's got to be what it is because two of those things I haven't been doing. And now the third, the, the, the one about paying bills, we, we were just piled up, snowed under. And I said, well, it'll work for anybody. He tried to get in the molly grubs about it. And I just, I just went like that and said, because I was leaving, I just kind of went like that and said, uh, well, now you know what to do. So you ain't got to be in the molly grubs. Now you're past it. You'll start doing it in Jesus' name. He said, that's right, I will. I appreciate it. I just lost sight of what I told God when I started this business. The, I told him I was going to give him uh, the tithe out of everything right off the top. And we had a slack time, and I quit doing that. Got in fear. See, when you, get, when you give tithe, you're in faith. God can bless that. But when you're in fear... The devil will curse that and take advantage of it. So be blessed today. Have a great one today. And God bless. See you tomorrow on healing class. Have a great one. Have a good one. God bless.